Okay guys, so this is going to be a video on how to add variable speed playback controls to YouTube so that you can slow things down and hear them back anywhere from 50% to 100% in gradations or tick markers of 5%. So in other words, 50%, 55%, 60%, 70%. Okay, you get the pattern. Okay, so right now we're on YouTube, and um, we can uh, we can see that there's a control here to, to control the speed, but it doesn't really give anything in between 0 0.5 and 1. They call 1 normal. Um, so to add that, we're gonna we're gonna add this right here. I'm gonna show you how to add this control right here, where you get this control on here, which I've used to uh, customize. I'm gonna remove that and, and reload the page because the page doesn't load with this. And first thing we're gonna do is go to this GitHub gist, which I will leave in the footer. Copy this text. You can triple click on it or you can go raw click on raw and just select all of that text and copy that text to your clipboard go back to um, actually you don't have to go back what you do is you right click in Firefox you right click on the bookmarks toolbar and it works exactly the same way in Chrome now if you do not see this bookmarks toolbar if you don't have this here um, like if yours basically looks like this okay well so now you already know what you need to do you need to go into view toolbars and put a select this bookmarks toolbar so you can see it okay now control click and choose new bookmark windows right click on some computers and for this name we're going to give it a name we'll say YouTube speed I already, I already have one there, so I'll say new YouTube Speed 2. And this is very important now. I'm going to put uh, the Command key and V and paste that JavaScript code right in there. Now, don't worry, this code isn't going to run just yet. It's just going to be there. When I click on it, then it'll run. It doesn't run until you click on it. Okay, so in Chrome, it's basically the same way. You go into Chrome Web Browser, and you know if you don't see this, then you know you have to go and in the view menu and it says the bookmarks bar and then you show it and then you can right click on it and um, you can choose add page now this is good because you know it's basically going to try to get put the location on here which is normally what you want to do but you can put your own in here you can put YouTube speed and then you can change the URL right there so that's good that works and um, click that and we can try it out click on that Boom, there it goes, 100%. Okay, so now I play it back. Turned up a little bit, awesome. Ninety-five, 85%. So it can be you know, helpful if you wanna slow it down. So Safari, it's, it's Safari's kind of a pain in the butt here um, because Safari, they don't want you to right click on anything because it's a Mac and you know they want to simplify everything so Safari what you have to do is you have to go uh, show bookmarks or edit bookmarks I can't remember which one um, and then you have to choose favorites that's basically your bookmarks bar and see, there's a way to add a new one in here um, we'll just use an existing one yeah, just use Twitter. So we'll rename it. Ed edit address. So the edit, edit the address, and then we'll paste the JavaScript in over there. Okay. So now instead of Twitter, we're gonna we're gonna say um, rename, and we're gonna say YouTube speed. Okay. So now we've got that there, and now uh, let's see if that shows up in the top. Should push the back button. And um, I don't know why I don't see it in there.
bookmarks, edit bookmarks. So YouTube speed. Oh, it, it was right there. I just missed it. I didn't see it. Oops. Okay, let me get the new window. And i got to fix that so it's not uh, Yahoo anymore. And we'll go to Safari. And this will be my first time trying it out in Safari, so I <laughs> hope it works. And click on YouTube speed. And uh, it doesn't seem to work. Now I'm going to open the console and see why. No, no errors. I just paste that code in there. Okay, so that's the only way to get it to work in in, uh, in Safari. They basically uh, don't seem to want you to. Um, edit your uh, use any bookmark. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what the deal is with Safari. So um, yeah, I mean, good luck getting that to work. Uh, but you know, if you use Chrome or you use Firefox, you should be able to get it to work uh, and control your speed halfway from there. Now, how this thing works actually is kind of interesting. What it does is it adds an element to the page. You click on it, and there it is. And we can see that if we go con Command Option I. Command Option I will pop this console open and um, they may give you a warning that it's only for developers but that's okay if you're a developer that's good if you're not you're gonna learn something so what it does is this bookmark adds this HTML5 input element and it gives it a range from 0 0.3 to 1 and then there's an event handler on there so that when you change it um, and it's got a step of um, 0 0.05 so if it goes from you know 1 and it goes down a step it's going to obviously go to uh, you know it's just point, um, 0.95 so then it's going to um, set the video's playback rate to be 0.95 and that's basically all it is it's just it's just an event and learn some HTML5 it's really only a tiny little bit of code as you, know, as you can see that's all the code there is and that's what it does so uh, happy transcribing and playing and I hope this helps you I know it's something I've wanted for a long time alright done